I'm Rosa Notley Moore, nutritionist. My recipe today is cabbage sauerkraut and is only going to use the red cabbage, Himalayan salt and that's it. I'm going to show you just how easy it is by using a good knife or a V-slicer, glass jars to put it in and a big mixing bowl. I like to remove the outside leaves of the cabbage because I think they're a bit thick and woody and the inside, just chop that into quarters and it'll make it easier to chop it finely. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Now it doesn't take long for the cabbage to actually soften and the juice to be extracted using the salt. So I know some recipes do call for adding brine but I've never found it necessary. Even if you leave it in the bowl for a little bit longer just until you get that juice happening before you put it into the jars. I think you'll find that very very successful. I love including fermented foods into my diet and I just love making them because they're just so easy and they're so beneficial for my health. With a hundred trillion bacteria in my body, I really need to improve the microflora in my colon. With 60 to 70 percent of the immune system residing right there inside, having fermented food is fantastic. It increases the B vitamins, which is awesome for our immune system, and it also increases our vitamin C. Not only the vitamin C in the cabbage, but by improving the micro um, flora in our gut, it increases the absorbability of all the vitamins. So by including a fermented food daily, your health is just going to improve and you're going to get so many benefits from it. So, fermented foods. Mm -hmm. 